It was the home for the hardest of criminals where lives and souls were swallowed up. Now Joan Baez is hoping there are lessons to be learned in the empty cells. Not much grows here. Not much ever will. Alcatraz Island, known as The Rock, was once the nation's highest security prison from which no one successfully escaped. Recently, Joan Baez brought her thought-provoking ballads to this bleak island to prove a point. My theory is that in order to know a society, you have to spend some time in jail. I've heard all sorts of interesting things about the place, very mystical and very spiritual, and I think just walking down the, you know, one of the hallways where you see those miserable-looking little bunks, it, it is, it, it's a good thing for people to see. Former inmates and guards provided a first-person tour for the party of 400 who paid at least $125 to attend. The money funds entertainment events in prisons, hospitals, convalescent homes, and children's wards in the Bay Area. Baez, a lifelong advocate of nonviolence, says problems don't always end in prison. They can begin there. It's basically where you become powerless and more bitter. And so it's always the same thought. How, why haven't we devised a better way to deal with our problems? Redemption and renewal were themes often repeated throughout the night, but it was a gospel choir composed of former inmates of San Quentin, a prison just across the bay from Alcatraz, that invigorated this audience and ultimately put the night in perspective. Just a thought to know that uh, I'm leaving tonight <laughs> made, made it a whole lot easier to walk in. It's nice to know we just passed it through. Oh, man. <laughs> not, here, not here to stay this trip. The Alcatraz concert happened because of Joan's connection with a charity called Bread and Roses that's run by her sister Mimi Farina. Joan has a new box set of CDs or cassettes in stores. It's called Rare, Live, and Classic.